Hey, what's happening guys? Today I got something really different for you. Here is my Les Paul. I know it's kind of hard to get it all in the picture. But this is a Gibson Les Paul Classic. It weighs 10 and a half pounds. It is a huge chunk of wood. But here's what's neat about this. You will notice that each of these pots are push-pull pots and they do something different so I have got the oscilloscope hook up to this little Vox practice amp here and we can play some different sounds and have a look at what they look like on the scope and see what those pots do and also hang on I'm gonna take you out of the holder I have a pedal board set up here with just a few things in it. There's a wah-wah, reverb, vintage overdrive, and a dotted eighth delay. Now, I don't even use a pedal board. My main amp is the Boss Katana, and it has all of that good stuff built in. But for this, I wanted to show you what these uh, sound waves look like on the scope with the different modifications. I just think it was something neat. You know, all these years of playing guitar, and I have never done this. So I thought that today we'd give it a try. So in case you are unfamiliar, the Les Paul has two pickups, a neck pickup and a bridge pickup. And they're humbuckers, which means there's two pickups, each one wired in reverse. Right, uh, the black and the whites are wired in reverse to cancel out the 60 cycle hum we get here. So concert tuning the world over is A equals 440. So I'm going to play my open A string, which should give us somewhere close to 440 hertz. Their frequency thing is not anywhere near it, but... So there's a plain open string vibration. And if I play... So there's A. There's the octave, which should be twice that frequency. And then I can even get a harmonic. All right, so now you know where we're coming from, and the amp is just set flat. So if I play a little scale, this is the E minor pentatonic scale. Pentatonic just means it has five notes in it. So that is both pickups in their humbucker mode. Now I'm gonna to switch to the bridge pickup and play the same scale going down. All right, now I'm going to pull, get the thing in there, get in there. I'm gonna pull out this pot, which splits that neck humbucker, so now it is in a single coil configuration so we just have half of it and the noise canceling is gone so that's split here it is back to full humbucker and now I will switch to the neck pickup which should give somewhat of a thicker sound, and we'll do the same thing. This is full humbucker. And split. All right, now I'm gonna pull another one, and that is the back top knob. This puts the pickups out of phase. So here is, uh, this is the A minor pentatonic scale. This is in phase. And here it is out of phase, same scale. Now since it's out of phase, you should notice that the amplitude is slightly less. And you'll notice a definite difference in tone. Out of phase, in phase. Neat. 
Now there's one other knob we can pull here. And what this does is it takes the neck pickup and eliminates all of the tone controls and volume controls. So this is just the pickup going directly to the amp. Same uh, scale. Here it is, uh, direct to the amp, no tone controls. <laughs> And here's the same thing back to normal with the tone controls and volume controls in. Cool. All right. So those are the features of the guitar. Now, let's take a look. I'm going to turn on the delay. This is a Boss DD8, and it is set for a dotted eighth note, which gives it this sort of sound. So if I play something like... That's kind of like the sound uh, from the edge from the early days of U2. Like I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So here's just a note. This is a uh, an A. Here is the same note with the delay. All right, so we've been playing clean so far. Now I'm going to turn on the tube screamer, and it should give us some distortion. Let's play that A minor pentatonic scale with the distortion. And again, without it, so you can see the difference. All right, so these have all been what I would call a dry sound. There's no echo or anything. Now I'm going to turn on the reverb, which should give us some echo. And we can take a look at the waveform. So here is a straight A chord, A major. Here it is with reverb. Kind of neat. And the last thing I've got is a wah-wah pedal. There we go. Oh, almost lost my damn pedal board. So I will play. I got to fix my pedal board. One second. Okay, so here's uh, an A, and then we can wah wah it. And that wah is just shaping the tone using basically an inductor. So that's really all I've got for you today. I just wanted to share with you what some of the sounds from a guitar look like on an oscilloscope. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.